Hey guys, it's Adora, Girl in Momentum, and I know you've heard it. You should be on every social media platform, posting daily, really engaging with your audience, and making quality content. And while all those things are correct, there are certain platforms that are gonna benefit you and your business the best. And those are the platforms that you should be focusing on. So in order to help you pick which one is gonna work best for you, we're gonna talk about each and every platform some of the advantages and disadvantages, the do's and don'ts of each. So stick around for this upcoming series. On today's episode, we're gonna start with LinkedIn. We're gonna talk about five things that you should know before joining the platform. It's a really great platform for industry-based businesses and B2B companies, and it's gonna really help you get those leads. If done correctly, you will really set yourself up for success. So let's get started and let's chat. Welcome to the Girl in Momentum show, where we discuss all things marketing, business, and personal development to help you throughout your entrepreneurship journey. I'm so glad that you could join today. We're here every week on Thursday at six, so be sure to subscribe. Let's get started. So let's talk a little about LinkedIn. So what you need to understand before joining LinkedIn is number one is the audience. The audience is a little different than the other platforms, which are more relaxed and uh, more creative. The audience on LinkedIn is a very mature industry based and professional audience. So the goal to get on LinkedIn would be to network and make connections. And that's what you want to understand before joining the platform. So if you're a B2B company or you're a service based company, this may be a good platform for you to start. So the number two thing that you really need to understand before getting on LinkedIn is the ability to create a personal brand. So if you're really looking to be that face of your company and come in the forefront of your company, this is going to be a good opportunity for you to do that because you can showcase your professional resume there. You're able to put your title. You're able to really elaborate in that summary, your work of history, your soft skills, your hard skills, some of that volunteer experience that you've done. It's all going to be on that profile and it's going to be the face of your company. It's also going to be great for the SEO because once people type in your name in Google, they, your name's going to come right on up and it's going to show on the top of the results. So it's great for SEO as well. So the number three thing that you really want to understand before getting on there would be the recommendations. So you're actually able to ask past clients to come on onto your profile and list that information that they've done with you and really show what it is that those projects they worked on with you is and how that they feel about those experiences. So it acts as social proofs. So having a social proof is going to be really helpful um, when you have people search you and they visit your profile and they scroll all the way down and see those recommendations. It's going to set you apart. They're going to say, oh, this person is an expert. This isn't their first radio and it's going to be very um, targeted. Another thing about LinkedIn that you really need to understand before joining is the ability to create content. So you don't want to use the content from Facebook and Instagram and post on LinkedIn because of the audience is so different. You really want to hone in, create content specifically for your industry and specifically for the type of people that you're trying to content uh, contact. So if you are really like a freelance writer, you would want to write content specifically around writing around that particular industry. So let's say you're a real estate writer, you're going to want to write specifically for that industry and show them um, why it is they probably would need your uh, skills, you know, what makes you great, um, why the steps to hiring a freelance writer, like these type of articles are going to really be helpful because those professionals are really looking for that information there. Mm -hmm. Another thing that makes LinkedIn great is the ability to join groups. So you're not only able to just post into your immediate network, you can actually go inside of those groups and repurpose those articles and keep posting that content with specific people in that industry. So it gives you the ability to be seen several times. Also, the updates and the news in those groups are really great. So if you're somebody like me that likes to be updated on their industry and try to see the changes and tools and and try to see those benefits and then try to communicate that to your audience, this is going to be a really good opportunity to be right in the forefront where all the news happens. Plus, LinkedIn is just really still a new platform. So unlike Facebook's that's really mature platform, everything's kind of established. LinkedIn is still really changing. It's a good opportunity to get on that new wave and to really use this opportunity to get in the forefront and be that expert. So it's a good opportunity for that. 
Another th great thing about LinkedIn before you join is that you need to understand that it's very easy to contact someone on here. It's very easy to make those connections. As soon as you get on the platform, you're going to want to start connecting with people that you know. Once you connect with those people that you know, LinkedIn is going to tell you um, based off their network, if you know somebody within their network, that's a first, second or third connection. These first, second and third connections are going to be very easy to go to their profile and actually message them. So you can actually talk to people on a personal level, introduce yourself on a personal level without being spammy and tell them, you know, I do X and I can offer you this. Or here's a great article that I published here. I think it'll be helpful for you. So you want to be very personal when you message these people. But LinkedIn has that ability to, for you to really find the people and then message them versus you having to search more on the other platforms. So these are all great benefits that you probably want to know before joining LinkedIn. And if it's for you, if you're a service based business or you offer those type of services, this is going to be a great opportunity for you to do that. On the next episode, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the do's and don'ts of your profile so that you're able to really optimize that again this is going to be your personal online resume and this is probably going to be the first thing people see when they search you in google so you want to make for sure that within that seven seconds that it really speaks to your audience and so next week we're going to go right into details on some of those do's and don'ts so if this video was helpful for you please hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe and I will see you next week. Thank you so much for joining. Keep up the momentum.